All right, guys, how's it going? Hey, I want to get right into this. I'm in the process of building some nightstands as a project that I'm filming also, but I'm super excited. I got some tools from a company called Going Make, and I want to do a tool review on them. I'm super excited about it. They just came in. I told them I'd get a video out real quick, and man, I can tell you what, you're not going to believe the quality of these tools. Stay tuned. Let's get right into it. Uh, I'm gonna, I've unboxed these already to try them out. I'm not an advocate of doing a tool review and not actually trying the tool. So I have used these for a couple days and let me tell you, I'm pretty impressed. So the, the first impression is the packaging. Um, this is the 12 inch uh, T-square, if you will. Um, it came in this box. I pre-assembled it for you because I didn't think you guys wanted to watch me do that. But this packaging is superb, right? It's foam, it's separated. The box is heavyweight and, and nice. I know that sounds strange, but you can tell the difference. This is a Chinese company. This stuff comes from China. Um, and you can see right there, made in China, right? Um, but man, I tell you what, they have really stepped the game up here. T-square has increments of a 16th of an inch. This is a 12 inch long version. On the instruction manual, it does show that they make these all the way up to 32 inches. So, I mean, that's pretty fantastic. These are uh, only available on Amazon. There isn't a storefront. You do have to purchase them from Amazon. But uh, fortunately for me, they sent a few of these items out to try. And, uh, you know, I'm gonna share my thoughts with you. So it's a T-square, right? Really important um, that it's square. So first thing I did was take my woodpeckers, 12 inch rule, or square, and I checked it for square. And on both sides, I have no daylight. So pretty simple using the T-square. I mean, I think a lot of us have used them. Um, but however, you know, it's nice to have these fractional broken down at sixteenths of an inch to be able to mark and reference, draw reference lines, layout, you name it. There's things that I really like. I love the black finish. I assume that it's powder coated finish. Uh, and you'll see all of their tools have that. The other thing that I really like is the white uh, lettering or lines or markings, I guess you would say. So this is in inches only, so not in metric. And I don't know about availability. I didn't have time to take a look on Amazon. Um, they might offer this in metric, um, but you'd have to see. Um, also, I'm gonna put all these in a uh, link in the description. And then price, let's pull it up on Amazon. So I'm just gonna search for it using going make. Woodworking T-square came right up. Um, it looks like, oh my gosh. Um, I, I just, I honestly can't believe it. This is $25.99. <laughs> um, in comparison to, I know this isn't a T-square, but I'm not even gonna say it. Everybody knows how much these are. Right, $25.99, I mean, you can't hardly beat that. I would be willing to bet without adding them up, I could get the entire set, 12, 16, 20, 24, 30, and 32, probably cheaper than uh, I bought one red. Uh, layout or marking tool. We know which one we're talking about. I, I don't want to bash them. They make excellent tools. They're unbelievably accurate and super high quality. I will say, if you're just getting into woodworking or you're budget conscious and you need some of the same tools, 
Uh, if the other ones are as high quality as this 12 inch, uh, I would not hesitate in buying them. There's an instruction manual for each tool. And I'm gonna read straight from the little manual that they provide, right? It says large clamping range can clamp wood board one and three quarter inch thick, especially for holding thick rod shape pieces against an MFT style table. So pretty sweet, All right? If you have three quarter inch dog holes, so it's fully adjustable, right? And it does, this is threaded. It's like a large acne thread. So you can kind of spin and tighten it up, but it seems easy to, and this is brass, this is a brass retainer. So pretty easy to use, just bring it down as far as you can, and then just snug up the clamp. Man, they just work great. Uh, and we're gonna use them for the next demonstration, uh, which is a shelf pin jig. I'm super excited to show you. Um, because I think it's just, it's just super nice, super high quality. But yeah, bench dogs, clamps, I mean, they're pretty awesome. Just give them a little, snug them up, and, and it, it's, it's on there. I mean, super easy, aluminum, looks like they're powder coated also. Like I said, brass adjustment knob or tension knob. Um, the, you know, kind of the, the adjustment knob here, the foot has a plastic kind of rubber protectant pad on it. Um, yeah, I mean, I've already used them a ton. This is one of my favorite items, actually. So, again, let's look it up. I don't know how much they are. Um, like I said, they provided these to me. So, um, I haven't even looked. I'm gonna look them up live right here. Bench dog clamps. And again, I'm on Amazon. Going make bench dog clamps. A set of these is $29.99. I mean, that's pretty hard to beat. <laughs> All right, next item. Same packaging, right? Very nice. Um, you're gonna be surprised with this one. This one comes in its own case, right, for storage, which I love. I don't want my stuff kind of rolling around just in drawers. Uh, nice, really nice case and really nice setup. Uh, this is all aluminum. We've all used, or a lot of us have used, um, you know, the blue version of this, right? The blue version is plastic, right? This is all powder coated aluminum. It's been machined. It has guides, adjustable guides. The guides can be moved from this location down to another location. There is three locations for how far off the edge of your cabinet um, that you would like the shelf pins. So I'm gonna bring the camera in here and kind of show you this. Um, and I'll show you what it comes with. <laughs> All right, so here we are zoomed in. So again, super high quality. White lettering, black body, I assume powder coated. It is aluminum. And this thing's thick. I mean, this thing's a quarter of an inch thick, right? Um, the adjustable guides, if you will, for the drill bit. These can be moved back to this position and all the markings and measurements for that are on the face. So what does it come with? So what does it come with? Comes with the gauge itself. Comes with two quarter inch bits. Comes with a drill stop. Drill bit stop, depth stop. And it comes with an Allen key for that depth stop. And it also comes with a reference pen. So, and we'll get into that. So just like the other products, they have a great manual. It has photos, has a written description, a materials list or parts list, and step-by-step uh, -step instructions on how to use the product. 
Um, if you didn't hear me say, this is for a quarter inch uh, shelf pen. Um, I do not know if they make this for a metric one. I believe the metric size is five millimeter. So pretty simple. We chucked up our quarter inch drill. I set the stop to account for, it goes through the guide, right? And then for the depth of the pen, right? So pretty simple. Um, if you've used a blue one, I'm gonna say blue. I don't like using other people's brand names with a negative connotation. Um, I have one. I mean, I can show it to you right here. I use it. I've used it many times. I like it. This one's five millimeter. You can get this one in quarter inch. Um, but it's plastic and it's always concerning to me. You have to clamp it down to use it because it doesn't have any weight to it. And uh, this one, we're just, I'm just gonna demonstrate here just how you use it. Now they say, <clears throat> drill your first seven holes, right? And then use your reference pin to move it down. Um, I don't necessarily like doing it that way. I like holding this, drill my first hole. Right, really sharp drill bit too, by the way. I put my reference pin in there to kind of hold it stationary. Then I go back, drill it, drill, 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 drill. Pull my pin back out, move my reference pin. Right, and then just repeat. So, I mean, you can see how easy it is. Uh, you know, it's not an LR32 Festool uh, router system, jig pin system, but, you know, uh, well, <laughs> let's do this. Let's check out the price of this. Jig pin, shelf jig pin for $36.99. I mean, I don't know. It's hard to argue with that. I mean, it's it's beautiful. I mean, it's it's a nice kit. I mean, I don't know what else to say. Multi-function angle ruler. Again, packaging is awesome. Comes with a multi-functional angle ruler and also comes with a pen. Looks like a stop pen, right? So we'll go over that. Black powder coated aluminum. Um, all the indications seem to be etched into the aluminum and the markings are clear, black background, white lettering. Um, pretty cool little square. They call it angle, multifunction angle ruler. 45 looks to be dead on. 90 is dead on. So, and then there's some other features I like about it that are really cool. So we can do height, right? So referencing off of here, there's increments of height up to three inches, and it looks like every eighth of an inch, or I'm sorry, 16th. It'll do eighth and 16th. Um, what else is there? I mean, of course, you can use this as a reference for plumb, right? Um, there is a reference along this edge, markings along this edge, so we can do height along this edge. So I really don't have, uh, I've never used a, a square or a rule like this. Um, I'm curious to put it in my arsenal and I do a lot of work from this armor bench so I plan on keeping it in, it, in this top drawer. It's small enough, um, like I said, this thing is, about four inches, four by not even three maybe. Um, so it's handy, I'd say. Um, so I look forward to using it. Again, just a quality tool. Um, you know, as time goes on, I'll probably have more to say about it or ask about it or review about it. But for right now, I mean, it looks like I'd use it. So 
I'm, uh, I'm pretty pleased with it. So I'm gonna put it in my drawer and I plan on using it. So the next item, I'm super pumped, super excited to show you. Um, I am also experimenting with this, trying to refine my woodworking skills. So I'm getting into more plain work or some plain work, definitely more chisel work um, to improve my fine woodworking skills. And you know, to do that, you have to have sharp chisels. Um, so this is a sharpening guide and I'm super excited to show it to you. It's really nice. Um, it again comes with a great instruction manual. Um, and I'm gonna keep the Amazon thing open because I wanna tell you the price of this thing. So it comes with a sharpening angle guide, which I just think is amazing. So check this out. Let's see if I can get that thing to focus. Right, so these little angle indicators, you just hold your tool up there, right, what you're trying to sharpen and it tells you the angle. Um, and that becomes important here in a second and I'll show you. My particular one is 25 degrees, right? So there's 25, 20, 15, 30, 35, 40, and 45. And it says this is for bench chisels, plain irons, mortise chisels, and uh, kind of just pretty much runs the gamut. Again, card, comes with that card. This is aluminum as well. Um, this is your angle guide. It comes with a big old thick 3 8 chunky aluminum sharpening angle fixture. I'm gonna show you how to use that here in a minute. It comes with the you know, sharpening guide itself, which the machining on this thing's super sweet, super smooth. Um, it comes with some mounting screws, so you can mount this fixture down to your, you know, I know a lot of people kind of set up a little area for sharpening, and you can do that here. It also has wide, as you can see, wide breasts bushings or guides. So if you're doing wider, uh, like plain irons, um, it's a more stable on your, on your stone. But I'm gonna show you what we do here. Um, let me get these things out. I somewhat have it set up, but not really. I'm just gonna run back through it. Um, so I told you earlier, roughly a 25 degree chisel, right? Now this says plain irons, but this is just a old Stanley, I wouldn't even say it's old, just a Stanley bench chisel, nothing fancy. I, I think I bought a set of these um, to put in my carpentry pouch, like my tool belt for, I don't know, $14, maybe less. Um, didn't plan on using them for fine woodworking, but for this demonstration, I'm gonna show you. Um, so we're gonna use 25 on this guide, but I'll show you how we do that. So this kind of has a dovetail in it, and this is where you mount your chisel, right? So your chisel rests in that kind of dovetail, right? Which I think is pretty cool idea. Then you just simply tighten this down until your chisel is Tighten the fixture, doesn't fall out. All right, right there. So now it, it won't move. We are gonna loosen it up a little bit because we are now going to place this. All right, so you can see the degree markings on the chisel, or I'm sorry, on the angle fixture. So inside of the jig, right, we are gonna move up our chisel to that 25 degree mark, All right? Make sure it's kind of square in there. That's straight across, that's pretty good. So we got it tight. We're at 25 degrees. Right. We're at 25 degrees. All right, so let's back out the camera, All right? And we're gonna, we're gonna get a stone. And I have a sharpening stone, this is just for demonstration, 
Right, but this one has two kind of surfaces, rougher texture on the back, smoother on here. And you can see I am not too bad there, but I got a little work to do. I did flatten the back pretty good, and this is to set this angle. You can see here, these are the rollers, the brass kind of bushings are the rollers, right? And then what you do is just simply hold it down to the stone. And I don't have the best setup here to show you, but I'm working on it. Is so you just move it back slowly and steady, keeping that same pace forward and back. And you're riding on the rollers, right? So it does a great job of keeping you in alignment. And you're just working on sharpening that edge, right? And I'm not gonna take you all the way through that. Um, that'd be a very boring video. And I'm not the greatest at it yet, but man, for them to send me out something like this, couldn't have been more perfect timing. So let's go to Amazon and see how much this uh, tool is. So it is called Going Make Sharpening Guide, $43.99. I haven't priced any of these from other manufacturers, uh, but man, they have got to be more than that. Um, I mean, it's just super cool. Like, I'm excited to use it. Um, I've just ran this over a few times, and this thing is pretty dang sharp. All right, everybody. So thanks for sticking with me through this. Um, again, I, I mean, Going Make reached out to me, sent these to me for a tool review. Um, once they asked me specifically to tell them what I like, what I don't like, it sounds like they have a commitment to quality. Um, I can tell you by looking at the tools and using some of them um, right now and testing some of them, um, I think, I believe that. I believe they have a commitment to quality. Um, I'm pretty impressed. I can't thank them enough. I was super excited. I'm so excited I stopped what I was doing in the wood shop and uh, trying to get this video out. Um, I mean, just super fun experience. Again, we have the chisel honing guide. We have the bench dog clamps, the 12 inch T-square, the shelf pin jig, and uh, this cool square. Uh, man, I just can't, I can't thank them enough. I hope that, um, it, you know, with this video, you guys will give them a try. Again, I'll link uh, the items they gave me in the description, and from there, you'll be able to find the other items. Um, that being said, if you guys have any questions or any information that you want from me, feel free to reach out to me in the comments. Again, thanks for watching, and uh, I look forward to some more videos for you. I'm working on one. Like I said, I have some nightstands uh, that I've been working on and getting some footage for, so that'll be out soon. And as always, thanks for watching.